This week on Maker Update, simulated gravity pixels, the How Tunes Kalimba kit, an art bike mashup, putting screws in tight places, and build your own BMO. It's Wednesday, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope you're all doing well and settling into 2018. I've got a fun show for you, so let's get right into it, starting with the project of the week. The Ruiz brothers, along with some code from Philip Burgess, have created this mesmerizing handful of LED sand. This is actually an Adafruit LED matrix board driven by a Feather M0 board sandwiched behind it, along with an accelerometer breakout board, rechargeable LiPo battery, and a slide switch to turn it on and off. The Feather reads the position of the accelerometer and then runs a little physics simulation to animate the pixels on the LED matrix. Noah and Pedro have included a design for the 3D printed enclosure that allows it to wobble around or even spin inside of a 3D printed gimbal. It's such a fun little project and the parts can all be had for under $50. And even though the 3D printed case really puts a nice polish on this, it would still be fun with just the bare boards. It's also just begging for a large scale table size version. This week, I wanna give a shout out to one of my hometown maker businesses, How Tunes. I've been a big fan of their books and kits for years now. Their first book is a prized part of my nine-year-old's bookshelf. Like everything they do is filled with these amazing illustrations by Nick Dragata. I ran into the How Tunes team a few months back at the East Bay Mini Maker Fair and we stayed in contact. They're not a show sponsor yet, but if there's a kid in your life, I encourage you to get a book or a kit from them. Their latest is this Kalimba kit for making your own thumb piano. It's $25. Shipping is free and you're supporting an awesome maker business. And if you use the code MAKER30, you'll get 30% off your entire purchase. You won't be disappointed. It's time for another project. I couldn't get over this bicycle chariot by first time Instructables user Camille Makes. If you can forgive seeing a candy cane paint job in January, there's a lot of great ideas to glean for making your own Franken bike. In this guide, Camille slices up no less than four bikes to create this three-wheeled art bike chariot. But what really puts it over the top for me is this jumping reindeer automata that she engineered for the back. She walks you through the trial and error to get this design just right. And it's such a cool idea that you can adapt for all kinds of art bike designs. It's time for this week's cool tool review. This time we're taking a look at this right angle adapter for your drill or impact driver. It's made by DeWalt. It cost me around $18 on Amazon. And if you wanna get one for yourself, using the Amazon link in the description helps support my videos and the Cool Tools blog. Sometimes you need to put a screw in a spot where your drill just can't fit. I recently had this happen right here in the shed where I record these. I had to repair some of the rotten framing in the corner but the spacing between the studs was so tight I couldn't get my impact driver in there to screw in some new wood. This attachment from DeWalt is specially made to get into these tight spots. It can be used with any driver or drill chuck, not just DeWalt. By spinning the shaft, the adapter spins the screwdriver bit at a right angle. The bit can face left or right, up or down, and you need to stabilize it with your other hand to direct it where you wanna go, but it does the job. One thing that surprised me about this adapter, but is actually pretty smart, is that you have to use a screwdriver or the tip of a screw to eject whatever bit is in here. This helps minimize how much space the bit takes up. It's also because DeWalt has this magnetic lip out in front of the bit that latches right onto your screw head and holds it flat, which is a great feature when you're dangling the screw into a tight spot or over your head and you don't want it falling down. It came in handy for me. You can pick one up using the link in the description and you can see thousands of reader recommended tools like this at cool-tools.org. I have a few more tips to share with you this week. First, issue 61 of Make Magazine is on newsstands now. The issue includes Shenzhen maker Naomi Wu on the cover and has a profile of her and other Shenzhen makers. It's worth picking up. I also learned from the Raspberry Pi blog about Bob Herzberg and his obsession with making his own interactive BMO character from the show Adventure Time. The blog byobmo.com includes build photos, sample images, and some great demo videos. He shows off a few different builds, but most of them are based around a Raspberry Pi computer and look like a fun project for an Adventure Time fan. And that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up. Go check out my friends at HowTunes and take advantage of their discount code. Get that DeWalt right angle adapter if it is the right thing for you at this point in your life. And be sure to sign up for the Maker Update email list to get these show notes sent out to you every week. 
that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.